King Kong Ortiz and Rashman Kajanu. Ortiz was nearly at the brink of becoming the WBC Heavyweight Champion of the World against Deontay Wilder. But now he looks get, to get back in the win column after suffering his first professional defeat as he takes on Rosman Kajanu. Kajanu has been away from the ring for over a year. Last time he fought May 6th of last year, a loss to Joseph Parker. And there you see Rosman Kajanu out of Romania, now living in Woodland Hills, California. Trained by Leo Lara. Also, as you see to his left, Ronald Gabriel, super middleweight contender. He has 19 pro fights that have taken place in six different countries. There you see Luis King Kong Ortiz, 28 1, 39 years of age, fighting out of Miami by way of Gamagea, Cuba. Lost in the hands of Deontay Wilder in the 10th round. What an epic matchup that was in the month of March. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape. There you see. The eight year age difference between the two, the height and the reach in favor of the 31 year old Romanian. Take a look at the rules. No standing eight count, no three knockdown roll. The referee or the doctor can stop the fight. You can be saved by the bell in the last round only, and the fight is official after the start of round four. And now to set the table, we will once again bring in the Hall of Famer, the classy. And the dapper tonight, my goodness. Love that white coat he's wearing here this evening at Staples Center. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans from Staples Center in Los Angeles, Premier Boxing Champions presents our next attraction in the ring featuring the big men of the sport. And it's all brought to you by Ring Star Sports, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. Sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina, and Casa Noble Tequila, The Noble Pursuit. And now introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside, all from the state of California. From Villa Park, Max DeLuca. From Eagle Rock, Dr. Lou Moret. And from Los Angeles, Zachary Young. And introducing our third man to the ring, the California Hall of Fame referee, Jerry Cantu. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a heavyweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with yellow trim. Fighting out of Woodland Hills, California, by way of Voynesht, Romania. He weighed in at 269 pounds. He holds a record of 16 wins, three losses with nine wins, coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his Showtime debut, please welcome the former heavyweight world title challenger, introducing Rasvan Payne Kojanu. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing camouflage trunks. He is fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Kamaway, Cuba. He weighed in at 241 pounds, with a record of 28 wins, one loss, and two no decisions. He has 24 big wins coming by way of knockout. Also a former world title challenger, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current WBC number four ranked heavyweight in the world, introducing the hard hitting Luis King Kong Ortiz. Once again, a referee in charge now give instructions, Jerry Cantu. This protection is a little high, so this is going to be legal. Gentlemen, you receive your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. Look at this stare down between Ortiz and Kajanu. Ortiz getting a very warm reception here in Southern California. Smart fight fan and fan base here in Los Angeles. 
Ortiz looks fantastic, Malestina. by the way. He looks big, he looks strong, he looks in very good shape. Kajanu doesn't look as good as Ortiz, but we're about to find out if Are you ready? the muscles will have listo? any difference and impact on the fight. Right Ring, Jones, Jerry Ring. Gone too. Ortiz, one of the most decorated amateurs ever come out of Cuba. He's wearing the uh, army fatigues, wearing the red. Close to Romania is Raslan Kajanu. Ortiz wants to make a statement as to say I almost had that world championship in my hands against Wilder. So he's got to go out, even though Kajan was very awkward. He's got to make a statement against Rosman Kajanu here tonight. Heavyweight division is certainly very exciting, especially so you have the likes of Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury is back as well. You have contenders like Dominic Brazil, Dillian White. Jab to the abdomen by Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz stepping up. I mean, you saw the intensity in the stare down with Luis Ortiz. He was looking at Kajanu and was almost ready to rip his head off during the stare down. Watch the feet. Cuidado con la pie. Jerry Cantu saying, watch out about the feet because Kajanu is a conventional fighter. Ortiz is a softball. Luis Ortiz midway point of the first and a right hook to the body. Another straight left by King Kong. Nice and straight. Yes, sir. Okay. That's it. Relax. Good. Good. Okay, I seen that little short move you did. Okay, next time you do it, do it. Good, good. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Hey, let's go. Keep, keep, keep back to this. Keep back. Oh, Round number two. This one's scheduled for 10. Luis Ortiz and Rosbon Kajanu. Ortiz with a straight left, right there on the chest of Kajanu. You know Ortiz would love nothing more than to be able to obtain his 25th knockout and stop Kajanu. Right to the midsection by Kajan or by Ortiz. Now Ortiz wondering if he's going to pick up the pace. 
Yes. Coming up on the jab is Luis Ortiz. He's still trying to figure out Kajani. Big, he's lumbering, not really doing too much. But still, Ortiz is being very relaxed and calculated, not expending too much energy. Watch your feet, watch your feet. You're not looking up here. This is what's tough sometimes when you have a southpaw and a conventional fighter. Fans here at the Staples Center. Oh, big left hand! Down goes Kajanu! Bang! Right on the butt! Oh my goodness! This might be it. This might be it. He can't even walk. This one is over. Luis King Kong Ortiz stopping. Wow. That's a way to end it. Talk about a finish in the second round. Right on the button. No, it was smashing. Did Rosvan Kajanu. And he couldn't even get up. He was just totally in a different place, was Rosvan Kajanu. Stumbling all over the place. And referee Jerry Cantu waved it off. Here's a different angle. Wonderful job by our camera crew. The right hook, boom. And then he literally ran right into the left. Oh my goodness. Crash into the canvas. Did Kajanu go? But it was that right hook, and then Kajanu, with where his face was going, literally ran into the straight left, and the straight left was coming forward. So it was like the perfect storm. And he couldn't even stand. His legs just gave out. Jerry Cantu had seen enough. A second round knockout by Luis Ortiz. And take a look at it again. Pawing away at the jab, steps in. That right hook, boom, and then boom. That's the shot that ended it. Yes, and adding insult to injury with the 4K, are you kidding me? Let's take a look, here's the 4K camera. There's the right hook, boom. And then Kajanu coming forward, and here's the shot. How will we zero in? Boom! Good night. And credit to our staff for showing you this up close and personal and then the legs gave out and that'll be all she wrote as Luis Ortiz now 29 and 1 King Kong is reigning supreme here in Los Angeles and King Kong made a statement tonight emphatic one against Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, eight seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, Luis King Kong Ortiz. And Luis 
Luis Ortiz is standing by with Jim Gray. Thank you very much, Luis. Congratulations. Felix de Jesus will translate for us. That was some quick work. How would you describe that knockout? Primero, Luis, felicidades, y eso fue trabajo rápido. ¿Cómo describe ese knockout? Bueno, ante todo, quiero eh, darle, mandar un saludo a mis hijos que no pudieron estar aquí y a mi esposa. First of all, I want to say hi to my family that couldn't be here, uh, and my kids too, my wife and my kids. Que gracias a Dios encontraron una una Thank, thanks to God he's, he's, he got very emotional right now the emotion coming back from his first loss and the difficulty of that loss la emoción por la por la derrota de Wilder por por mi que encontraron hace cinco días más o menos la asociación de ahora encontró una it mostly has to do with his daughter that five days ago, they encontraron una cura? They found sí. a cure for the disease she has. Oh, that's wonderful. That's fantastic. Luis? He's trying to get a towel over here. Let, let us ask you now, how difficult was it to fight under those circumstances and now having that huge relief of your daughter being well? It was hard. It was very hard. It was very hard. My wife told him when he was uh, getting the plane to come over here. when he was getting the plane to come over here. How difficult was it for you to rededicate yourself after the difficult loss to Deontay Wilder for the title? Qué difícil fue dedicarte otra vez a pelear después de esa esa derrota tan difícil frente a Deontay Wilder. Yo no he tenido derrota. Mi mente no. Mi mi mente. Quién con no está derrotado. In my mind, I was not uh, losing. I did not lose that day. Let's take a look at this vicious left hand on the monitor right here and the knockout that ended the fight and Luis please tell us from your vantage point how you saw that opening Vamos a ver la imagen aquí con lo de lo noqueate con esa izquierda ¿Qué pasó? Cuenta, dime. Nada, eh son cosas que mi entrenador y yo eh hacemos en el gimnasio él por esta derrota que supuestamente tuve con Walde que es mi respeto para él Eh, mi entrenador me botó el reloj de gimnasio. Nothing. It's something that me and my uh, trainer have been working at the gym, and uh, you know, after the Wilder sort of loss, you know, we practice it a lot in the gym. Now you have a big problem going forward. What are you going to do? Because certainly, Anthony Joshua has fights lined up. Deontay Wilder has beaten you. Uh, you clearly are the next best uh, contender for the heavyweight championship fight, but you're going to be avoided and uh, they're not going to want to fight you based on your power, so what, what are you going to do now? Ahora tiene un problemita porque ya Joshua tiene una cuanta pelea alineada al igual que Deontay Wilder eh, y nadie te quiere pelear por el poder que tú tienes. Eh, ¿Cuál es el problemita grande ese que tiene ahora? Eh, voy a... Voy a hablar con el gobierno para que me den Medicaid a ver si quieren pelear conmigo. He's going to ask the government to give him Medicaid to see if they want to fight with him. <laughs> Time is not on your side either with your age. Is that a concern? El tiempo no está contigo debido a tu edad también. Yo estoy al 100%, yo me siento joven. I'm 100%, I feel young.